Good morning. Glad to have you with us. 6.40 is the current time on your Tuesday morning. In a world of made in China and mass production, there's a father and son business in Bonner using years of family talent and tradition to make knives known by people around the world. In this morning's Montana Made, MTN's Justine Stewart shows us how Ruana Knives has forged its name in history. Still forged in the same Bonner shop for nearly 80 years, the Hangus brothers and their father are continuing a family legacy. My grandpa really started something, you know, and they were in high demand with hunters back then, and, and they still are. Ruana Knives was started by Victor Hengus's father-in-law, Rudy Ruana, in the 30s after his truck broke down in Milltown. He was offered a job as a welder, and well, things just sort of grew from there. It didn't take long before the quality of his work and strength of his blades carved a name for himself as one of the best knife makers in the country. His knives are still sought after today. Collectors are going crazy for them. And the older ones, older they are, the more money they bring. So just how much? Well, Mike Hangus has seen some of the original Rudy made knives go for as high as ten to twelve thousand dollars. The combination of collectors with with people that use them, it's kind of flip-flopped to pe more people don't even use the knives now. It's almost a piece of art. What really sets them apart is the fact that they are the only company in the world to make knives the way that they do. Everyone's individually hand ground, hand hardened individually and the mass produced ones, they're, they, you know, they put them on a rack, heat them in an oven, and they're all hardened. And, and our knives are, uh, the way they're hardened is differential hardened one like we do is tougher because the back stays soft relatively to the edge so it'll flex and without cracking. Not to mention the cast aluminum handles with, of course, their famous elk antler insert. Over the years, they have gone through thousands of sheds, many found right here in Montana, making every knife unique. While their knives are popular for good reason, Victor Hangus and his sons agree. The one thing that's made them so successful is to always strive for better. With the perfect knife, it's kind of like an athlete or something. You always have room for improvement. And even though many of the knives being made may never actually be used for what they are intended, the Hanguses say they have one person in mind with each knife they make. Hunters, and uh, always has been, and uh, we always, you know, we take pride in putting the best we can into them, and, and uh, their the time has proven that they work. I think about the guy who just killed an elk, and it's getting dark, and he's five miles from the truck, you know, and. He better be able to rely on that that knife. Little piece of my soul goes into each one, kind of. So I try and do the best I can. Hopefully, they'll outlast me and the next generation. Justine Stewart, MTN News. Ah, what beautiful tools those are! This year, the company is producing a special edition knife that will honor Victor Hangus and his years of work hand forging a part of Montana history. I can't wait to see that. Me too.